Yes, Sean, as the concerns about the COVID variants continue to grow, so do the questions about how to best protect ourselves. Are the measures that are currently in place now enough at this point, or do we need to be more cautious less than a year after all this began? To see masks on everyone, everywhere is commonplace today. Inside, outside, different materials, medical grade, you name it. It's been enough to help protect us from COVID-19 to this point, but the new variants of the virus may be tougher to tackle. So, you know, the virus is constantly mutating and with, you know, most mutations doesn't allow the virus to continue to, to spread, but there are some mutations that occur that make it more transmissible or give it an advantage. Two cases of the UK B117 variant have now been reported as part of a larger COVID outbreak at the Belmont Meats facility in Toronto. 78 total cases were identified there. The variant may have also been transmitted from an employee to members of their household. There's no indication that any had recently traveled or been in contact with someone who did. Toronto has a total of 15 cases of that variant as of January 31st. Ontario has also now reported its first case of the South African variant in Peel region. Those variants come to our country piggybacking on people and then they can spread from there. The fewer people who arrive for now, the better the testing and quarantine arrangements are, then the better we will be to be able to manage the virus overall and to manage the variants. Better protection and stricter measures are now on the minds of many, although health officials who are supposed to provide guidance don't have answers yet. When it comes to the variants of concern, does more need to be done in terms of practices at this point? We look to uh, Public Health Ontario, and I understand that this is something that they're actively considering, along with uh, public health authorities all around the world, to uh, determine what makes the best sense um, right now, given what we understand of the heightened transmissibility of these variants of concern. Last week, Ontario's Medical Officer of Health also said he's asking for further clarification on guidelines and directions. Should we consider double masking, for example, or N95 masks for everyone? You could have that with a surgical mask and then on top of it a cloth mask um, or just two cloth masks. But the main thing is that you need these masks very close to your face because you're trying to make sure that there's some kind of seal so that the virus particles don't get out. Now, as for Belmont Meats, Toronto Public Health started their investigation last Tuesday after it was informed about a possible outbreak. The facility closed its doors just two days after that. A letter has now been sent to all cases and contacts to let them know that the variant was a part of it all.